So this is the Production Manager 50, five, zero. This is a big bag. This thing's huge. This is not your mother's camera bag. It's a monster, look at how big this thing is. So externally about 53 inches, inside 49, 49 and a half. So great for your large, long modifiers. Um, you know, your, your 50 inch softbox, your 60 inch Octobank. Um, great for C-stands, right? You, you take the feet off, drop your C-stands in here. So this gets heavy, right? So that's why we have um, handles on all four sides. Team lift, everybody. You gotta use two people for this thing. So you have a handle on the top. Handle on the top. Handle on the bottom. Handle on the bottom. Handle on the other side. Yep. Why don't we go through some of the features on the outside first? It has a huge front pocket here. Now, what would they put inside a pocket like you this? You put some small reflectors. Um, you can put some of the, the gel sheets in there. Uh -huh. um, cables. You know, really, it's a it's a just a large catch-all. Um, you got knee pads that you're working with. Toss them in there. All right, so here we have a tripod mounting system. Right, for light stands, tripods, whatever you want to attach to the side, mm -hmm. um, as well as, as a handle right here. Right. Um, but again, keep in mind this bag does get heavy, so the more that you put on the outside, the heavier it's going to get. So the bottom... Right, so you have another handle right here, you have two feet for extra stability. Okay, and then if we look at the top... Uh -oh. So you have your... Uh, business card pocket right here. Uh, oftentimes people use this for identification, um, identifying what is in the case. These are my light stands, these are my flash heads, this is my power packs. Um, as well as a big robust handle right here that it's, it's curved at the back so it'll support um, whether you're carrying it as is horizontally or at an angle when you're rolling it. Right, so both sides actually have the tripod mount. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, let's look at the back real quick. So we got lots of rails in case you're putting this thing into the back of a truck, you're hauling it up a curb, stairs, whatever it is, the back is gonna be protected by this continuous line of, um, of protection. Right now on this roller, we put some extra heavy wheels. Heavy duty wheels. So these are shock absorbing wheels. You go over a bump and you got a lot of weight in there, the wheels actually flex absorbing. Mm -hmm the impact so it doesn't go right into your gear, it goes into the wheel. Right, and also the larger diameter of the wheel helps you when you're going over bumps and curbs and things like that. Absolutely. So let's open this sucker up. Oh. Oh. So as you can see, we, we include way too many dividers. <laughs> okay. Way too many dividers. Um, we have a long divider here, and that's helpful to separate your, um, your light stands from your large modifiers, uh, and then also some horizontal dividers in case you want to drop in power packs, um, flash heads, whatever it may be for your lighting rig. As well, maybe you want to uh, load this full of camera gear or video gear, and so we have a lot of other little smaller dividers that are great for lenses um, or video cameras, whatever it may be. Right, so we're famous for providing way too many dividers, so you don't have to worry about the fact that, uh, I mean, regardless of what kind of equipment you put in here, there's plenty of dividers to you can, divide it just the way you need to divide you it. Completely customize your kit. Yeah, right. don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> also has these pockets on the inside, which are great for cords, cables, miscellaneous items. Little tools. Yeah. yeah. Um, and these are actually really handy to keep the lid up so you can work out of the lid um, while you're working out of the bag. They are adjustable too right. um, because over time, you know, as you get weight in here, um, the, the bag may flex a little bit. And you can tighten that up depending on, you know, maybe you're up against a wall, whatever it may be. You can also just release them too. Yeah, just take them out. There might be a certain situation where you just want to release maybe them. Maybe they annoy you to, to all get out and yep. boom, there you go. And you can remove them if you want to. Yeah. So, so if you'll notice our, um, the material that we use is, is called a Velex and it's really high density, um, sort of the, the loop area of the, of the hook and loop. And it's, it's incredibly durable. Uh, it keeps its, uh, its loop, it keeps its stickiness for a long period of time. Um, and they're also, we reinforce these things. I mean, these, these dividers, beefy. 
Right. So the reinforcement is important for impact resistance because the dividers on the inside, when the lid comes down, it prevents the, even though the lid is also reinforced, it prevents the lead from pushing down. So it really, the reinforced dividers really protect your equipment. Also over time, that reinforcement helps to keep the shape of the dividers so they're not sagging and bending and, you know, ultimately all your gears right. line at the bottom of the bag. We also include a bunch of just Regular Small dividers. Little, great for stacking. You can stack gear on top of themselves. Hi -oh. this is this is way this is way too many. Yep. This is bag seriously comes with all these dividers. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. The extra dividers are for your closet actually. <laughs> so um, Is that it? I I I think that's it. Production okay. manager fifty. Let's close this thing up. Remember everybody, team lift. This thing gets heavy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>